Welcome to TradersArmy.com, defending your right to build wealth and preserve capital for generations to come. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Friday morning edition of the Daily Market Commentary. I am your host, Chuck Fulkerson. Hope everybody had an amazing day yesterday as we finally got a little bit of a market pullback. So let's go ahead and talk about that today without further ado. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, click that subscribe button uh, down below. Make sure you hit that, that notification bell so you get the alerts as they come up. If you're not new to the channel, do me a favor, uh, type me in the asset class that you prefer to trade. I'd like to just kind of get a, a gauge of what asset classes people are trading. Um, because I'm, I'm thinking about uh, maybe maybe doing a little bit more specified uh, on the DMC. So I'd love to hear what asset classes are you trading. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. S&P 500, um, we're down about 16 points this morning. Yesterday, when looking at the market, we had a live trading room. Um, and yesterday, when looking at the market, we in our live trading room, we had a short that we took on this breakdown out of this level. Now, uh, it actually did wind up coming back up uh, and retracing a bit higher than I had initially expected uh, while we were in that room, uh, popped all the way back up to this little drop base drop level uh, and got slightly uh, just to the very tippy top of it before then really hitting our big sell off. So um, I'd love to say that I participated in this whole move down, but I actually had my stop a little bit too tight personally. Uh, and so I got just nicked out of the position uh, I just got nicked out of the position, and so I, I did uh, not get the, the fun of participating in a lot of that. But you know what? That happens, right? I mean, that's what that's welcome to the world of trading. Those kind of things do occur, uh, and so our goal as traders is not to get caught up uh, in in you know missing out on something. I, I tell this to, to all of my students all the time. The three richest men that ever lived are Mr. Shoulda, Mr. Coulda, and Mr. Woulda. Uh, and so, you know, we have to be able to, to look and see what's the what's the next great opportunity, right? What's the next best opportunity? So we did pull back down. Now, when I look at this on a four hour, the four hour, uh, I'm still entrenched as a buyer. There's no reason for me to not think about being a buyer. I still have higher swing highs and higher swing lows. However, you know, this is a nice little pullback. And I think that there's still a little bit of room for price to fall a bit further today. Now, in the NQ, I had looked at this as a potential reversal point, but we actually blew through that area yesterday uh, and have come to uh, a point where there's a good opportunity for a breakdown. Uh, so the NQ level is continuing its move lower. Uh, and so I think there's an opportunity for a breakdown. If you do want to get short, but you feel like you've missed uh, the breakdown, there is an opportunity if we rally back up into this region here. Okay, a little... A little shot at this region up here. So 68, uh, 60, 68, 69 by 68.78. So, so right up in here, there could be a decent opportunity to get short again, uh, because this is a pretty good breakout price pattern that we would typically look for. So, uh, if you want to use the short, that would be your your you know your reversal point, I think, to get back in. Uh, I don't know that we're going to make it all the way back up to there because typically that's what happens. Uh, although towards the end of the day yesterday, uh, we did get a decent little uh, a decent little rally there towards the end of the day, a short covering rally. Let's see if we get that today. Um, so keep an eye on the end of the week. I mean, no, certainly follow your own rules on on whether or not you hold things over a weekend. Uh, but I could certainly see, you know, the big picture is telling us to be a buyer, but the but we are definitely putting in a nice breakdown price pattern. So. Uh, just be aware of that potential. Looking at crude oil. So crude oil yesterday, we had a really nice short uh, in crude oil off of this level right here. Uh, this came from the 15 uh, minute chart. We had this little bit of basing here. Price popped up, got us a really nice move down. Uh, leave me a comment in the leave me something in the comments below if you're able to catch that and ride it down. It did come to our profit target. However, it did went right through that next little level of demand. Uh, dropped actually through that next little level of demand, which I thought we may get a little bit of a bounce. But remember, anytime you're on a 15 minute level, you take a bit more risk, right? It's slightly lower probability. So now, as I look at this, you know, we we have this level of demand that we're coming into right here. However, I'm not going to take this level of demand. And the reason is, is that this was not able to put in a new high, right? This pivot was not a strong enough pivot to put in a new high. So I'm not going to be willing to take that as a buying opportunity. 
Uh, I do still like this up here for yet another selling opportunity. If, uh, if price does return to there. Now, mind you, it's on a 15 minute. So once again, we know what that means for our probability levels. But I don't really like any of these for buying opportunities. None of these really fit for me for a strong, uh, a strong buy because none of them have helped put in new highs. And so uh, you don't really have too much demand until we come down into this region. So I'd be a little bit cautious uh, on bullish option uh, on bullish uh, crude oil plays today, uh, and I think you're better off on a on a rally back up. If you're a very small time frame trader, like a five minute candle kind of trader. I think that you may get something up in here if we get a rally up to this region. I don't know that we will, but this could be a decent little reversal for those of you that are five minute traders. On gold, so gold, uh, we're at a level that we've already hit once. We are back into it a second time uh, and our probabilities are a bit lower. I actually should have, uh, have switched this to a more of a confirmation style uh, on the lines, but we're back into this level a second time. So if you're not short, uh, at the moment on this one, I wouldn't get short unless you want to go with a candle to candle style, right? Unless you want to go with a candle to candle style. That's the only way that I would get short this one right now if you're not already short. This was not a, uh, this was not a super high quality level because it's already been tested once and technically would be a, re a, a confirmation short from this point. So you'd need to get a lower low on the next candlestick. All right, looking at our bonds. So in bonds, we had a supply level up here at this uh, 122 area. And the talk that we had yesterday uh, in the live trading room was that we were basing in front of the level. Remember what basing in front of a level does for a level. It will typically invalidate that level. Uh, we have the, the, you know, we want to be able to use our top uh uh, trading guide in order to tell us, you know, what's going to happen. And we score our trades. We score our trades, uh, which is the trade optimization. And we use that trade optimization plan to tell us the probability of a trade working. Well, if you if you remember that, the, the basing before the level, as well as the profit margin, will invalidate the, the ability to use a level. And that's why we pulled this one off. And that's what we talked about in the live trading room yesterday, was that this level that we were coming into was just not going to be one that was very effective. However, I do like this one that we put in down below it for a potential reversal. Okay, this area down here is significantly better. I will still need a decent arrival into the level, but I do like that one a bit better. Uh, next, the Aussie. So the Aussie still continuing its big move down. The level that we're coming down to here uh, was found off of the four hour, if I'm not mistaken. There it is. It's this four hour level in here. So this is a pretty big area, but look at once again, what are we doing in front of the level? We're basing in front of the level. Anytime you get that basing in front of the level, you've got to be more concerned with it. Okay, um, and and this is you know one of those parabolic moves up, and oftentimes on those parabolic moves up, you'll get a deep retracement of those amounts. Right, those amounts will oftentimes get retraced. So I'm a little bit you know cautious coming into this area, and I would actually shrink this down to the one hour. And as I, I move this down into the one hour, I'm going to take this level, convert it to a confirmation style just due to the basing that we're getting in front of it. Uh, and I'm going to move it to a smaller area. So I'm going to move it to just the bottom of this area right here. Now, this isn't even the bet, the strongest of levels. And I think that you could get a breakdown out of this today. If you're so inclined, I think there's nothing wrong with shorting it you can wait if you're more conservative wait till we get below here if you're a little bit more aggressive you can short it right below here um and 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 allow price to continue to run lower i think that's probably the best trade you you've got a little bit of a reversal potential up here um but i think that i would rather just look to take the breakdown on something like this uh, in the euro so our euro short has been very effective for those of you that took the euro short leave me a comment let me know if you took the euro short and frankly if you're still in it because there's no reason yet to have gotten out of it as we've continued to move the stop down um, and this is where the ability to understand swing trading gets very powerful right swing trading futures uh, staying in it for a few days is really how you gain 
more profit. It's letting those profits run and go for a while. Uh, level that we identified yesterday in the live trading room is this area right here, this uh, one, uh, 131 by 205. So uh, uh, 4131, 4205 would be the area that we identified as a potential reversal point. Uh, it's not a great level, frankly, because it's kind of in, in the middle of the move down, but it may serve as a decent retracement, especially if you look at this on a four hour chart. Um, this would be a, a pullback into this region. I'm not, don't, I don't think it's going to get there today, but I think it's worth noting. Uh, the Canadian dollar. So the Canadian dollar has done really well on our short breakouts. I think you've got another opportunity to short the breakout right here in the Canadian dollar, which is also why I would be a little nervous on bullish uh, oil positions. Uh, Great British pound, Japanese yen. Uh, the Great British Pound, we talked about yesterday uh, in the live trading room how it's just been so news-driven, uh, especially with the Brexit, whether we're going to do a, a no-deal Brexit or what's going to happen with Brexit. And we identified this little level here. We wound up actually popping up above it uh, without much of a move down through it. Uh, but the, I think the, what I talked about yesterday in the live trading room was I said, listen, just because it's there doesn't mean I'm going to take it. And I, and I, I said, from a news perspective, I'm not trading the, 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 the GBP unless I have a really quality level. And I don't really have one, right? I mean, I go all the way to the four hour chart. I look at some of my other markets and I see way more lines that have been left there that are quality levels. I just don't have them on the pound. And then the Japanese yen for the fat past few months has been a whole lot of meh, right? I, I just, I don't feel like fighting a marketplace, right? There's no sense. Uh, it's like trying to push a rope up the stairs. Uh, I, I don't want to do something that, that just, it's not gonna, gonna, gonna go my way. I'd much rather take the trend of something that's given me a better opportunity. So for today, I think our better opportunity is to continue to be a little bit more bearish on the short time frame. Remember our big picture, if you're using the four hour, is still up, uh, but we're at a pretty interesting inflection point in the market overall because our four hour big picture is still up. However, you know, on the investment side, and I, I put a tweet out about this earlier today, um, you know, on the weekly chart, I'm going way big here because it's at the end of the week, you know, and just something to consider. You know, when I look at the weekly chart of the S&P, here's the S&P 500, and I move out to the weekly chart. We have still not put in a higher high, right? We've still not put in a higher high. Um, and we actually did put in a, a higher low or a lower low. So we've not put in, we've put in nothing but lower lows and lower highs. Uh, and so, yeah, we're at an inflection point, if you will, for, for the market in general, because our, our, our four hour chart is still telling me to be a buyer, uh, but we're you know, coming down just a little bit. The question would be, is do we get below, this is an opportunity for, let's call it candle to candle style of trading, if you're more the investor type. If we, if next, if we put in a lower low next week on our candlesticks, uh, then do we start a little bit of a leg down? And just keep an eye on that going forward. If we put in a candle with a lower low, um, you, you know, there's nothing that says you can't look at the S&P in general or the, or the major markets in that candle to candle style. So. Hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, please visit us online, uh, support, uh, tradersarmy.com. Go to the website, support at tradersarmy.com if you've got any questions. Uh, until uh, Monday, I hope you guys all have an awesome day, and I will see you soon. Later.